fears for Nepal's invisible Tibetan refugees the number of dead in the Nepal earthquake continues to rise. But how can authorities be sure about the precise number, or even know where to search for victims among the Nepalese population, when there are tens of thousands of undocumented refugees? Tibetans fleeing from China have been escaping across the treacherous Himalayan border ever since 1959, when the Chinese overran Tibet. And they have been risking their lives to make the crossing ever since. Their goal has been to find refuge in Nepal, and, if possible, travel through an open border into India. A small number have been processed and are held in a refugee center in the Nepalese capital, Kathmandu. Only a minority of second-generation Tibetans have Nepalese citizenship. The bulk of them are living illegally. They do not have residency rights and they do not have identity cards. They are stateless and therefore invisible. Nepal is reluctant to talk about them for fear of upsetting its northern neighbor, one of the country's big investors. Most ethnic Tibetans live quietly outside Kathmandu in remote villages scattered across the mountains, right up to the Chinese border. Poorest of the poor these villages lie right in the quake-affected zone, but those that have perished cannot be identified formally because officially they do not exist. Ethnic Tibetan villages like Raidim, north of Kathmandu and close to the border with Tibet, at around 3,000 meters above sea level, are among the poorest in this poor rural nation and have been flattened after Nepal's worst earthquake in 80 years. The Dalma Development Fund is one of the few non-governmental organizations that cares for Tibetan tribals in Nepal. It set up a school in Punch, not far from Brideem, to educate 500 ethnic Tibetan children and orphans of the area. Brideem is practically razed to the ground, Dalma's chief finance officer Carlo Tihikzi 